A lot of riders who watch the videos on this channel know that from past 5 months, the Domina 400 is running on Liqui Moly Street Race 10W50 grade engine oil. The experience with this oil has been really good and I liked it so much that now my RTR 200 is using the same Street Race in 10W40 grade. A lot of adjectives can be used to share the experience and the performance of an engine oil but being from automotive research, I always felt that to be inadequate and incomplete. I do share the regular specifications mixed with my experience, but this time I decided to go for a lab test. With around 2000 km with this oil, we took the used oil samples and sent it to an independent certified lab for testing. Finally, the lab test reports are here and to make the video less boring, we will discuss the 4 primary properties and their comparisons with new oil. First one is the viscosity at 104 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius. Please note that we are discussing kinematic viscosity here as it is important for an engine oil which flows and lubricates different parts of an engine. For a new oil, the Liqui Moly Street Race 10W50 has a viscosity of 124 mm square per second. While after doing 2000 km, it gave a viscosity of 103 mm square per second. So the oil has retained more than 83% of its original viscosity at 40 degrees Celsius. Next comes the viscosity at 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius. This is really crucial for all the internal combustion engines which run at high temperature and should be interesting for all the long distance riders, heavy city users and of course the top speed guys. For a brand new Liqui Moly Street Race 10W50, the kinematic viscosity at 100 degrees Celsius is 18.3 mm square per second, while our 2000 km old oil returned 15.3 mm square per second of viscosity. So the oil has again retained 83.6% of its original viscosity, which is a good news for heavy users. The two results mentioned before should make things clear for the third test, which is for the viscosity index. In simple terms, viscosity index is the measure of change in viscosity with respect to temperature. Leaving the technical terms aside, we can say higher the viscosity index, better will be the oil in terms of stability and performance as per its specifications. Viscosity index is so important that lubricant manufacturers pay special attention to it and add special viscosity index improvers to their oil for better performance. A brand new bottle of Liqui Moly Street Race 10W50 will have a viscosity index of 165, which is equivalent to the viscosity index of many good quality fully synthetic engine oils. The test report for the Liqui Moly Street Race 10W50 shows 161 as the viscosity index of our used oil, which is really impressive. Finally, we get to discuss an another important property that is TBN. Here TBN stands for Total Base Number where the base present in engine oils neutralizes the acids produced from combustion. Presence of acids in an engine can corrode and damage engine parts. This does not mean that we should fill the engine with alkalines as high TBN can produce ash content which is not good for the efficiency and the cleanliness of an engine. In our case the TBN come out was around 10 for the used oil. When we checked the specifications for the new oil, it was at 7.5 mg. On further investigation, we found out that the test acids were different as weaker acids used by the DIN test standards showed lower TBN as compared to the ASTM method with stronger acids used by our Indian lab. For the final verdict, we can say that the oil has retained its properties really well and so is its performance. I am expecting similar results with the Liqui Moly Street Race 10W40 on my RTR 200 as my expectations are pretty high after the 300V.